Today we are going to be flying with our baby under two years old and we want to take you with us. If you're new here, welcome. We are Steve, Jess, and Briggs and we show you the beautiful and messy moments of traveling with babies and toddlers. Flying with a baby can be extremely intimidating for most parents, especially new parents. So we want to give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of everything we do, starting from our packing to our arrival at our destination. If you want to learn how we pack for two weeks without any checked bags, go check out our latest YouTube video to learn more. Okay, so we're taking an evening flight. Admittedly, this is not my favorite time to fly with Briggs, but we'll make it work. We started off the morning in the fun, we played outside a lot, got a lot of his energy out. We also gave him a good nap, he slept for about two hours. So this is gonna set him up for success on the plane. Um, I always like to tell people it's so much better to have a well-rested baby on the flight than a baby who is stretched so far in hopes that they'll fall asleep on the flight. So I'm not expecting that he'll sleep for the four and a half hours at all since we're leaving you know, around dinner time. Um, but I think he'll be in a hopefully happy mood. Just got to the airport. So anyways, Jess, tell us what you're doing. Okay, so first I like to get all the gear out before I like to get Briggs out, out because he'll like run around the parking lot. So getting the stroller out, I'm getting our bags out, and then let's go get the baby. Okay. Alright, so change of plans. We missed that shuttle, so we're gonna go over, wait for the next shuttle. Come. All right, Briggs. Hey, how was your bus ride, buddy? <laughs> it's like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Catch the elevator. <laughs> And here we are waiting in line. If you don't have TSA PreCheck or Global Entry, I highly recommend looking into it. It has saved us so much time waiting in long lines at the airport. Now they usually don't like us to film through security in the airport, but this is a video we were able to capture a couple months ago showing step-by-step -step of how we get through the security line with Briggs. Um, I'll drop the link in the description below so you can check it out. Briggs and I made it through security just fine, but Steve got flagged because he forgot he packed his hair gel, which was too many ounces. However, they did stop Briggs and I because we had some milk along with some fruit pouches for Briggs, um, and they wanted to throw them out, but luckily I knew all the rules and exceptions for babies and toddlers, so I was able to explain to them and point them to their own website, and they let them through. Are we getting food? Yeah, are we gonna get dinner before we fly? And you've got a graham cracker. Wow. When you gate check your car seats and your strollers, you'll need to get a gate check tag. I recommend doing this in advance. Also, here's a cool hack that I always try and use is I actually fill up my car seat bag with extra stuff. It, this just helps me save on checked luggage. About 20 minutes before we start boarding, I check my bag to make sure everything's organized with the most important things on top. And we also do a quick diaper change so it's fresh. <laughs> wow, you're excited. So we 
order the flight <laughs> successfully. Um, we gave him a stroller uh -huh, and his car seat. And I think we have the entire row to ourselves. So wish us luck. We do our special handshake. And one more time, just for good luck. After he got bored of looking out the window, that's when we pulled out all of our quiet books and travel toys. We have special books and toys that we reserve for traveling purposes specifically. I have a lot of these recommendations linked in my Amazon store. I'll provide that link in the YouTube description below. After he was done playing with toys, we pulled out our phone with some downloaded videos, some of his personal favorites, and we were able to watch that for a little bit. We noticed he started getting tired and a sure sign of tiredness for Briggs is he'll start laughing at any little joke and he was definitely demonstrating that so we knew it was time to get ready for bed. After that, we did a quick diaper change. This can be kind of difficult on an airplane. I'll link some videos I've done in the past with this below. We were then able to watch and enjoy a beautiful sunset together. After that, things took a turn for the worst. <laughs> Remember I said I share the messy moments? Well, sometimes babies do cry on flights. And that is where our footage ends because we just, we landed. <laughs> it was midnight. We were tired and we just honestly forgot to film. So let me give you a quick little wrap up. The flight went great. It was a four and a half, four and a half hour flight. If you can tell from his reaction, he had a great time. Um, it was honestly a really good flight. The only issue came into play with, was when, hey, hey, can I talk? Can I talk now? <laughs> was when he was trying to go to sleep. He just could not get comfortable. So it's time to start researching some toddler airplane beds. Anyways, we landed, we went, uh, we didn't have any checked bags, which was awesome. So we just got our gate check stroller and our car seat. Mm-hmm. And then we went, got an Uber, and we went to our hotel. And here we are for the night. Um, so thanks so much for following us along. If there were any questions that popped up while you were watching this video, whether it be about going through security, gate checking, or how to entertain your baby on a flight, we have the course for you. I'll drop the link to this course in the description below. This course will show you everything that you need to know to get prepared, feel confident, and feel empowered for your next flight with your baby under two years old. In addition to subscribing to our YouTube channel, be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok where we share all about our travels.